Hello. Hi, Ruby. Yeah, hi. Uh, yeah. So good morning. Uh, are are morning. you guys in the Nikago? No, it is in Bangladesh. Oh, uh, because we have restarted to install the recorder. Okay. I'm giving you the session once again. Sonali left. Uh, power. No power. She said she waited and she had some appointment, so she had to leave. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. Anyway, I'm recording it, right? So yesterday we were discussing about uh, uh, the schedule line categories, the documents. Uh, as I always say, like we have to start every session with an analysis, understand the concept, uh, yes. very much in depth with an example, uh, yes. because as typically practice driven uh, is one model and other one is analysis driven learning. So like uh, let us uh, <coughs> get into. So, have you done some uh, uh, creations of schedule? I have a question, like, how yeah. do we check returns? Returns? How, how do we access a document? That's RE. 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 RE document type. The means whenever yes. you have a, in the document flow, if you have returned some document, it will come in the document flow. You go to the environment, check the document flow, there you'll find the returns. I cannot go and like open like a sales order or anything. You can open the sales order if it would have been returned already if you want to okay. see already returned otherwise you can straight away uh, create a return and call the existing document from a return actually that yeah, means how can i create a return like is there any code for that it is va01 re document type sorry RE document. yeah okay. Returns are just sir. Any idea? How do you make returns on in sales order? Hmm. Which T code? Which T code it is? one or something just a minute the user is correct c user 1614 yes j, ca j capital right uh -huh. j capital What happened? Uh, headset is a problem.
This is the returns document, right? Display return, yes. <coughs> if you can see okay, the. I think we can clear, create return only uh, through a sales document, sales order. Yeah, Not that's the reason. You can see this. This returns item number 10 has been completed. If we can open this and check the returns with respect to the delivery, with respect to the standard order, it is 129.24, isn't it? That was the main order. After delivered, after being invoiced, yes. it was returned. Four pieces were returned. You can return to those four pieces from that same order, isn't it? So how do you create a return generally? What is it? transaction code? Same. The V zero one only, nothing else. Zero. Right. But how do you refer to the order already which has been created? No, no, I am talking about not invoice. You cannot return the invoice without returning the order. Without returning the delivery. Then only the billing will be cancelled. Otherwise, bill cannot be cancelled. So, that's what... So, when you raise an order... So, basically, if you can see this, the order number is 12934. But return number... Suppose if I put share the returns, how did you do it? Return you have to have you done it for an existing order? Nothing can return and don't worry. Existing order you have to return and go today. So in this. So how will I return? Will I return order? Or will I return? I will order return material. Especially what happens here is <coughs> when you return, you do you cannot return the document. Can you return the sales order? What you can return? Items. Items is written it. But you will refer the same sold to party. It has to affect the payment. Nothing else has to be returned. So that is the so basic logic. So what happens? That's what I'm what saying. The pair here? You don't refer the pair here. Yeah, we will refer the pair not here. In the when you come to the billing, pair is referred in the billing. Right now, for me, ship to party, right? I have to my ship to party has returned me the goods. That is the first case. Then once the delivery is returned, the last case will be bill uh, bill reversal. What will you do in the uh, bill reversal? We will raise a credit memo. There, there is no money written. It will be adjusted in the consequent, uh, the next time when he pays this credit memo, he will debit it. So credit memo is also a kind of a document? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's also having a document type, a billing document type. type. Okay. So basically that's what I'm saying. These kind of topics by reading, by creating, you will not understand. You always go into a standard. That's the reason he has given these ideas. So you have written, but till now we did not know why you have written chaser. Can you did not know why you have created the written? Why? The items have been written. Think logically. So that is the reason he has given this standard orders to make us understand so who is the ship to party here 1172 what is the material here m-05 so let me go to the environment how he has returned so that means written document is like any other order document only you will mention the same parties for whom I have to you can see this written delivery here? Hello. Hello, Ravi. 
Yeah. Uh, Ravi, can you please email me the today's recording? Yes, yes, yes. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah sure. And please from tomorrow we'll start the class on time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We'll do that earlier. Yeah. Right. Okay, thanks. Right. Thanks. Right. So we have something like a standard order, like one two nine four. You can delivery. You can see the transfer. You can see the returns. So this returns is talking about on an F two. So you have ten. So the other return number which we had re number. I'm just trying to see that. Let me again go back. How should I search a return? V A zero three. F4 because written document number I want. Then I'll sales document type return. So use IDS to learn anything. So right now, let me see this one one seven two. What is the return number six zero 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 eight nine. So like this for a return order also it will create a number. So in here, can you see this? item is same shift to party is same so these two do you remember written document is carried out based on sold to party shift to party and product these three points are important okay i hope I clarified your yes 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 this is a definite question they are going to ask you in returns and 90% people don't answer this because in sap everybody creates written document but if they don't know why they are creating why item is being written based on the same sold to party so i am asking you how did you refer to the same order same old order we will not give any order number there but yes for this customer if any returns are there it will come in the sequence because same product but written has to be done before the billing is cleared once the billing is cleared again return process generally they don't accept okay but in the later stages in some companies they want that also even the billing is over now the stock has is having a problem create a written document right so let me discuss about item categories today because one of the important What is the return item category generally? It's not as a sales order. What is the path? Sales and distribution. Sales. Sales document. Sales document item. Yesterday we discussed.